If you read my blog, you're probably aware of the category Jessica's Adventures in the Ordinary. This weekend, I've decided to make a extremely amateur documentary version. Jessica's Adventures in the Ordinary is like day-to-day -day nonsense posts. The reason I think it works is because I'm the kind of person that takes something completely ordinary and just makes it what I think is interesting. I'm already rambling way too much, so I will let this footage speak for itself. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Turkey, by the way. Yum. Okay. Oh. In this, there will be hugs. Oh, mum. Huge. Oh, <laughs> those hugs. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, I'm not going to confirm or deny that they've asked me not to. I mean, I've said too much. Just because I, you know, I wanted to tackle some good issues in this documentary, what do you think of the lack of streetlights in Cola? It's really bad. It's scary. I refuse to go get the bin after dark because I am afraid I'll be raped in my own front yard. Do you think there's a potential you might meet a fairy on a trip like that? No, because fairies are afraid of rapists and the dark. Do you think, and be honest, that I'm going to be more famous than Louis Theroux? Hello, I am outside in my garden, about to have a wander around looking for places fairies could live in. Why are you doing this? Pretty crazy, but it was one of my favourite things to do in the garden when I was little. So I thought, hey, I haven't done that for about 12 years. So let's do it. I'm wearing my sunglasses because it is like really sunny, not because I want you to know that they're like real Ray-Bans. <laughs> this is probably clutching at straws, but I think fairies could possibly live in here because the main structure of the house is built and they're very small. I'm really banking on you guys having as much imagination as I do. Potential fairy house number two. Again, another long stretch, but I'm going to just say that fairies probably have the magic ability to hollow this thing out. The giant cat attacking frequently might be a drawback. Here is something, what appears to be a real house. I can tell you now it's actually the letterbox from our old house that our grandfather built for us. I can see a fairy living in there. Definitely. With this exercise, I'm kind of really desperately hoping that some of you have read Shirley Barber books because I read them constantly when I was a kid, and that's exactly why I'm even doing this. <laughs> Hold up. This here appears to be something that could be the makings of a fairy kingdom, or at least the place that they meet to have secret fairy meetings to discuss secret fairy business. I'm at this point now where I've been walking around talking to the trees for 15 minutes and I'm just like, the, we have neighbours, they're like right there, I can see their clothes on the washing line, you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. This girl's not normally here, she's there away on the weekends, this is the kind of madness that they're bringing back to this house, fairy hunting. Now, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I think I just found a real fairy. Oh my god. It appears to have come into a close meeting with Medusa at some point. Oh. 